Dangerous Drugs Board was created to eradicate the supply of and demand for dangerous drugs and precursor chemicals. It is also the main concern of the agency to promote regional and international cooperation, thereby to contribute to the global efforts against drug transactions. The DDB is managed by a board, a multidisciplinary body composed of 17 members. Among the 17 members, three are permanent, 12 are ex-officio, and two are regular members. To determine the agency secretary, our president decides from among the three permanent members. DDB is moreover composed of a secretariat, headed by the executive director and assisted by the deputy executive directors for administration and operations. According to the National Household Survey, there are about 6.7 million drug users in the country and among the various illegal drugs, methamphetamine hydrochloride remains to be the number one drug of abuse. DDB adopts five pillars of action, namely drug supply reduction, drug demand reduction, civic awareness and response, alternative development, and regional and international cooperation. The concept of drug supply reduction is principally a law enforcement responsibility. This is the chief task of the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, or PDEA. On the other hand, the drug demand reduction revolves around the concept of veering the public away from drugs by generating awareness and consciousness on the perils of drug abuse. This is an integrated function of the Dangerous Drugs Board, Department of Health, Department of Social Welfare and Development, National Youth Commission, Department of Interior and Local Government, Department of Education, and other allied government and non-government agencies. This is 150, this is 150, together that's 300. We've come to meet a Shabu dealer who faces life imprisonment if caught, so he wants to remain anonymous. And uh, how, how easy is it to sell here? How common is it in this area? Almost the entire area uses it. Is, is it easy to, to get hold of? Yes, it's easy. You can pick it up on any street corner. Why is it so popular? What's the reason? Once you take it, you feel lighter, not tired. Upstairs, a couple of addicts are waiting for their nightly fix. And this is how shabu is prepared and taken in the Philippines. The vast majority smoke it, although it can also be injected, snorted, or just dissolved in water. Most are in here for Shabu. She's in for Shabu. She is. She is. She's also in for life. She's in for marijuana. She's also in for Shabu. So is our cell leader. Mary Beth Basura was convicted two years ago with selling about $70 worth of Shabu. She's now in jail for the rest of her life. She has an 11-year-old son. My mother told me he was collecting scrap metal with the other kids to pay for my bail. But he didn't know that I was already sentenced to life. It's really sad, isn't it? He didn't know. 
What were your dreams in life? <laughs> it seems a bit late for that. It's really too late. Life sentence seems like forever. Mary Beth is languishing in jail, essentially because she is poor and powerless. Ever hear someone with a drug problem talk about quitting? And then they try to quit on their own with no help. They tell their friends they've given up drugs forever. It usually doesn't work. Eventually, they slip and start using again. Why are drugs so hard to quit? Because addiction is a brain disease. Addiction is when you feel a strong urge to keep taking a drug, even if it is causing harm. To stop, ask for help. Your brain is like a control tower. It sends out signals that direct your actions and choices. When you take drugs, the chemical signals in your brain change. This affects your choices, your actions, and even the way you feel. The part of your brain that lets you feel pleasure can be changed by drugs. Normally, this pleasure center is active when you eat, fall in love, or experience something else you enjoy. After a while, the drug becomes more important. When someone takes a drug, they first feel a rush or a high. But over time, the high is not as strong, and they need the drug to keep from feeling bad. This is what happens when you are addicted. But you don't have to stay that way. Quitting drugs is hard, but it can be done. If you or someone you love has a problem, get help. 